the list. Beggars. I'm not making this up. In fact, I'm not even the one saying this. This has come from the Pakistani government, from a standing committee of the Pakistan Senate. Listen to what they've said. 90% of all beggars detained in foreign countries are Pakistanis. 90%. How did they get there in the first place? Mostly on the pretext of performing the Hajj. Most of them go on the Umrah visa. They travel abroad in the name of pilgrimage. And then they don't return. They stay back and beg for a living. Now, West Asian countries are not happy about this. Saudi Arabia and Iraq are complaining. They say their jails are full of Pakistani beggars. They want Islamabad to put a stop to this. Saudi Arabia has apparently issued a strict warning. It wants Pakistan to monitor who gets an Umrah visa. And it, wasn't, it wants a crackdown on repeat offenders. It tells you how bad the situation in Pakistan is. But then again, this flows from the top. Pakistani leaders do the same. They have gone to West Asia multiple times asking for money. Former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif recently spoke about it himself. Listen in. Vajpayee sahab, when they became a leader, there was no $1 billion in Hindustan. But today, they have 600 billion dollars. Where did they come from? And we are asking for $1 billion today. And we are asking for $1 billion today. क्या इज्जत है हमारी आज उनकी नजरों में भी क्या इज्जत है चाइना से हम मांगते हैं अरब मुल्कों से हम मांगते हैं हमारा वजीर आजम जाके उसको मजबूर होता है वो मांगने के लिए एंड व्हेन पाकिस्तानी लीडर्स आर बेगिंग देयर डिप्लोमेट्स आर कॉट स्टीलिंग एंड पिक पॉकेटिंग इन साउथ कोरिया टू पाकिस्तानी डिप्लोमेट्स वर कॉट शॉपलिफ्टिंग दे वर स्टीलिंग चॉकलेट्स एंड हैट्स एंड अदर ब्यूरोक्रेट वाज कॉट स्टीलिंग अ कुवैती डेलीगेट्स वॉलेट so if leaders are begging and diplomats are stealing, can their Senate really blame these people who beg? And this is not funny. This is a moment of reckoning for Pakistan. It is grappling with an economic and political crisis. Its economy is in free fall. Inflation is at a record high. 40% of the population lives below the poverty line. Its citizens are leaving the country to beg in other nations. Their entire system is geared to help only one party, the Pakistani army. It is immune to everything, inflation, budget cuts, nothing touches them. The people of Pakistan should think about it. Or they'll keep suffering attacks and the humiliation that such reports bring.